Hi guys, welcome to Curious Tribe. Today we are going to learn how to create Android app in Visual Studio. Uh, before we do that, let's just talk about things that we're going to need to do that. Obviously, we're going to need Visual Studio. I have uh, Visual Studio 2019 installed on my machine. Uh, but if you don't have one, don't worry about it. You can go to this link and install the community version of Visual Studio 2019. You can do this in 2017 too, but you know, the community version is free. You can go ahead and download it if you want. Okay, so if you have Visual Studio, uh, another thing that we gotta make sure is uh, we have uh, Xamarin Forms installed on our machine. Uh, to do that, let's open uh, Visual Studio uh, installer. Um, uh, and when you open Visual Studio Installer, it will list down all the uh, Visual Studios installed on your machine. I have uh, Visual Studio 2017 and 19 installed on my machine. If your Visual Studio is not up to date, then it will show update button and it won't let, let you install anything on top of Visual Studio unless and until you uh, update your Visual Studio. Uh, my Visual Studio 2019 is up to date and that's why I can see this modify button. Uh, let's click on it to see what's installed on top of my Visual Studio. Uh, after clicking on that, you can see the workloads. Workloads are basically areas uh, in which you generally develop your applications in. I develop applications in uh, websites and I create desktop applications and I create mobile application. Uh, here, what we need to make sure that we have mobile uh, development for .NET is installed on our machine. Uh, and if it's not, click this, check the checkbox. And once you uh, check it, uh, the modify button will pop up here on the right bottom corner. Click on modify and Visual Studio will start installing uh, mobile development for, um, uh, for your machine. Uh, I have mobile development installed already installed on my machine, so I'm gonna uh, close this. I don't need to install. Uh, okay, so I think my machine is all set up for creating uh, the first Android app um, on Visual Studio. I'm gonna start here um, and click on new project. Um, I, I have project type uh, mobile already set up here and that's why I can see a uh, mobile app a uh, mobile app here you can select this template and click on next uh, here uh, you can change the location of your project I'm gonna go ahead and select your drive uh, projects folder here and name my application as first app and click on create once you click on create a uh, visual studio will uh, give you options of uh, which template you want to use uh, uh, for your mobile application um, it gives you an option of master detail or tab shell blank and it has description on the right hand side what kind of application it'll create with this template. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and select master detail here and click on OK. When I click on OK, Visual Studio will use that as a template and create projects uh, uh, project for, um, for me to create application. Uh, on the right hand side, you can see in this solution there are three projects. One, the first one is the core application in which uh, we're gonna do most of our programming um, and the second project is the android project that's what we're going to run uh, for for now um, yeah that this is what we're gonna run and third project is ios project um, we're not gonna run this ios project because uh, in order to run this ios project you need mac machine and i don't have mac machine um, if you have Mac machine, you can pair that Mac machine. Just click on this tiny button um, 
here on uh, on the top prior to Mac. Uh, maybe uh, or you can buy a Mac machine on cloud and pair that machine here and test your iOS application if you want to. Okay. Uh, once you have created uh, uh, this project, what we have to do is we have to start a virtual device to run your Android app. To start a virtual device, let's just click on this tiny button here uh, called as Open Android Device Manager. So when you install uh, mobile development for .NET through Visual Studio Installer, Visual Studio Installer will by default create this Android accelerated Oreo virtual device for you. Uh, but you can always uh, create a new virtual device for testing your um, for testing your Android apps. I have created this Nexus uh, Excel Android Pie uh, virtual device for testing my application. I'm gonna go ahead and start this uh, virtual device. and click this device manager cool so my device manager is all ready to go and um, we can go ahead and run our android app here um, so uh, make sure that your android app is uh, sorry that was that was the notification uh, uh, Android app is um, uh, selected as startup project or you can select it from here um, once you select your Android app as uh, the startup project then you can uh, select the device that you want to run I'm going to select my Nexus Excel uh, virtual device for running my Android app so let's just go ahead and run our first Android app. I'm gonna jump back to the emulator. You can see in the background output full output uh, layout what uh, Visual Studio is doing. It's building our project and then it's pushing the Android app on the virtual uh, virtual device that we just created. Cool. Uh, you can see uh, ba in the background that virtual device, our Visual Studio is running in debug mode and our first Android app is running on uh, our uh, virtual device. So yeah, so that's how you create your first Android app in uh, a Visual Studio. I hope this video was helpful. Let me know if you run into in any issues. Uh, I'll try my best to answer your questions. Thanks. Bye.